It's also nice using cryptography that we can implement message authentication. Messages can be hashed. Now, hashing is a mathematical process that produces a digest of a message. It's kind of similar to a checksum. It is extremely difficult to produce a message from the digest. Notice I didn't say impossible, but very difficult to backwards create our message. Anytime you change the message, then the digest changes. It is extremely unlikely for two messages to produce the same digest, so you can use a digest to pretty much reference or to stand for the contents of a message. It represents what the message status or the message contents actually looks like. Hashing allows the receiver to verify the authenticity of the message. In other words, if you take a message and you hash it and you end up with the same hash value that the sender sent you, chances are it didn't change in transit. Digital signatures give us the ability to verify the authenticity of a message. The sender, what he'll do is using the concept of hashing, he'll create a message digest and then he'll encrypt it. The receiver receives the message and then creates a message digest of their own, of the received message. He will then decrypt the sender's digest using the private key and compare the two. If the two digests match, that is the decrypted version that was sent and the local version that the receiver just created, then the message is authentic. This process provides non-repudiation. It lets us know that the message came from who we thought it came from and it is valid.